Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zachary Michael, and I'm back, back, back again to react to another Amber Lynn Reed video. And look who joined me, Miss Judy Lou Who. She said, Dad, my favorite kind of Amber Lynn Reed video is the ones where she's talking about her weight loss. And I know you don't like that as much, so I'm here to be here for your support. Dad. And I said, okay, great, thank you. I need my uh, emotional support, Judy. All she's going to do is just lay there. I will say, Potato, little post of doodle doo, he is way more engaged back here. And this is about all you're going to get from Judy. <laughs> but anyways, Amberlynn Reed did post a new video. But before we get to that, and I will leave a timestamp as always, but before we get to that, I think it is my due diligence as a person who covers Amberlynn Reed to let you know that this interaction happened because, you know, I think it could potentially, and it didn't impact my opinions or thoughts at all, but I think people, if they come to find out later that it happened, would be like, oh my god, Zach's letting Amberlynn Reed influence him, and that's just, like, not the case, but, you know... In my last video, if you didn't catch it, I found out in real time while filming my video that one, Amberlynn Reed blocked or unblocked me rather uh, from Instagram. And I was like, wow, that is wild. Like I didn't figure that would ever happen. It's been literally years that I've been blocked on Instagram. And honestly, Life has been chill, you know? If I need to get the receipts, the tea, the whoever, whatever, I'll go over to little Judy Lou Who's Instagram account and I'll pull the Instagram Q&A screenshots if I have to. And otherwise, like, I get to be pretty much removed from Amber Lynn in that sector of my life and it's worked out just fine. But she unblocked me and a couple hours later after I posted that video, she was in my DMs and I'm not gonna be out here. I don't know how I feel about people posting their DMs or not posting their DMs. I don't think that me posting her actual words is helpful. I did ask her if she wanted me to make a statement on her behalf and she said, do whatever you want. <laughs> so so I'm not going, here's the things I'm not going to do. I'm not going to give you the word for word what was said because it's not that interesting. I'm not going to use our interaction for clickbait in this video because I think she wants the attention. I honestly think the whole, like my, my feelings is that she knows at this point she's got to stir up some drama. So what better way to reach out to me? And that might be the end of what I'm not going to do. What I will do is tell you the general gist of it, and the reason she reached out to me is to let me know that she's not lying about the vibrator proposal story. And I said, okay, well, go off. If you have proof, wonderful, because she had suggested she did. Wonderful, that's great. Uh, how about all these other things, though, that I addressed in that video? And she never, she still didn't address those things when I brought them up. Probably because I also at the same time said, and by the way, what was your goal here? Like, what did you want from this? And she was basically like, well, I just want people, I just want to let you know I'm not lying because I think that like, because you think I'm lying about something, that that means that like everybody thinks I'm lying and I'm just struggling to grow my YouTube channel. Girl, people thinking you're a lie is not, is not what's keeping your YouTube channel from growing. The same tired, boring content is what's keeping your YouTube channel from growing. If we're, if we're being honest, there's all kinds of things you could be doing to help that. And addressing some of the legitimate concerns, i.e. why you're bringing up Becky when you won't even put wifey on your channel because you're worried about how people will treat wifey, but clearly you don't care how people will treat Becky. It's a legitimate question that people have and you won't answer it, okay? So that's that. I'm glad I got that off my chest. I still don't necessarily believe the proposal story, but Amber Lynn says it's very true and she has proof. So I, if that changes your opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And honestly, truly, if she did show proof, 
like someday in the future, or if Becky came out and confirmed it. Okay, great. I also said in that video that it could be true. So <laughs> I don't, like that's still not gonna change all the other very uh, legitimate concerns that I brought up in my last video. You know what I'm saying? So today's video is called, I have gained weight, am I still on Ozempic? And weight loss surgery. Uh, then the little bar thing weigh in. So I, I just scrolled through because I was like, is this gonna be a vlog? And it's still just a sitting video. We're still just sitting. So I, I don't, she said she's not gonna talk about her ankle, but I feel like one could infer, I don't know this factually, but one could infer maybe she's still having troubles getting around. And that's okay. At least it's not a Q and A, you know, unless these are all questions based off questions she's gotten from Q&As. And then if that's the case, I'm really gonna beat my head against this desk. But it's only a 16-ish, 17-ish minute video. I think we can knock this out. And oh, I also didn't mention, I have air again. So I, I you know what? The videos are back until we replace the windows <laughs> in our home next week. But anyways, let's just get to get to because we, we need to, we gotta get this. We gotta, we gotta watch, I need to know. Is she on the Ozempic? Hey guys, welcome Hi. to a new video. So I figured we would Hello. do like a weight loss talk, weigh in, update, Work. Let's moment, do it. situation type deal. Situation type of deal. And very requested, which I completely understand. Highly requested. Da 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 if you don't know, that's the famous highly requested walking music. A lot of you, which I have seen. So I don't like reading comments, but I'm trying to read comments. I want to say for the, I give myself up to like, an hour after okay. I upload a video, yeah. and then like after that, I'm not gonna read any of the comments. I, 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 I listen. Spend an hour. I think that that's that is probably. I don't know how her comments are. Based on my comments, like, all the people who, like, are, like, hardcore fans are the people that show up at the first hour. I'm not saying that y'all aren't fans, but I'm saying, like, the dedicated people to my videos show up in the first hour. So, if, I don't know if she's got a similar fan base. Let's face it, probably not, but, but I don't know if she has a similar one. But probably in the first hour, there's going to be some well-meaning individuals, you know? I, I also just say, like, if you don't want to read the comments, don't read them, you know? Or if I want to read a few, I can. Um, so, based on comments that I've seen and DMs that I've received, you guys say that it looks like I'm losing weight. So, oh, is, am I? Is, or am I not? Is that what people are saying? I don't, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of, like, way older clips lately, and I could definitely tell from like the old, old clips. Like even when when she referenced uh, like the live stream era, I don't know if she put something in her video or if I was watching somebody else's video, but I saw some clips from the live stream era and I'm like, yeah, you definitely, there's definitely been a change. I'm here to spill the tea, all the tea. Let's but, do it. But um, there's a few things I wanna talk about first. Weight loss surgery. Um, a lot of people are like, why don't you just get weight loss surgery? Uh -huh. um, I've gotten weight loss surgery and it helped me I think, my life, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I think her go-to excuse these days is that it's too expensive, which it probably is. I would if I had the money. Not every mm, single see? insurance, unfortunately, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, helps pay for weight loss surgery or does pay for weight loss surgery. True. Which is unfortunate. True. Thankfully, there's the option of switching insurances. True. So that is something that True. I'm interested in. I also, I don't know how she discovered her insurance, found her insurance or whatever. And I don't know when she made those insurance decisions. I know that more recently in history, she has shifted her opinion. Like in the past couple of years, she shifted her opinion about weight loss surgery. Listen, the healthcare system, I'm not gonna fault her for being a mess. I will say, I would think that would be something that when you're looking or when she was initially looking for health insurance, that would have been something to like prioritize, like like finding an insurance company that would prioritize that as something that would be covered or mostly covered or partially covered at least. I'll also say though, it's just anytime she talks about 
money, it comes across as, like, a little bit tone deaf from her, I think. Like, I don't think she's cognizant of how it comes across, because not everybody has, like, a glamorous YouTube salary like she does. Like, probably most of the people watching don't make the kind of money that she makes. But also, even without that, she, this is why people get frustrated with the, like, continuous amounts of hauls and, like, whether that's Torrid, random stuff from Amazon, whoever, whatever, when she's buying all this stuff, that's why people are irritated because it's like, you'll prioritize buying stuff you may never wear or may never use, but you don't prioritize other things that you say you might be interested in, like weight loss or drink. Now... Is one toward haul going to add up to weight loss surgery? Of course not. Of course not. But the pattern of behavior, the pattern, like, I I very much am like, even if you don't have a lot of money, you deserve to get things that you like and enjoy and, like, budget for those things. So I'm not saying, like, cut out the toward hauls altogether, but you want weight loss surgery? Well, girly, look at, look at how much clothes are in your closet and make an assessment about if you need to push ship on, on that next tour and all, you know? That's, I think, why people get so frustrated when she brings this money shit up. Because I I have not been good with money in the past. Okay, T. I know now. Self-awareness. Um, I wish I would have known years ago because I just, I grew up with zero money. Like, literally nothing. Fair, fair. I grew up with one outfit to wear, one pair of pants. Like... It's very common for people who, you know, grow up with nothing and then they make a bunch of money and they spend it. Sure. They spend it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much also, my life high. So also <laughs> one, I do agree I do agree with that. I think like people have either like two responses to growing up poor. Like you can go the April Lynn route or you can grow, go the route that I, I go, which is, I hate spending money. I avoid spending money at all costs. <laughs> I try not to spend money. I I hold on to every penny that I can. I'm the, I get things. I get nice things. I get things that I want, need, etc. But I, I just, like, am constantly processing every financial purchase very thoroughly. Also, though, what I really paused to say, what I really paused to say, was I like her eye makeup. I do. And y'all, don't think this is me being too nice because she messaged me on the, the Instagram and I'm trying not to make her hate me. Don't think that. I'm saying this because I genuinely think it's nice. It's been a long time since she did, like, a full eye makeup look. I like the little glitter, the sparkle. She's got the classic wing Wing? <laughs> what, what is this? A wing? So I currently do not have money for weight loss surgery, which okay. is very unfortunate because if I did, I would love to get weight loss surgery. It's definitely an option. Just I, think, I think some people would also, I mean, if we're talking about ways to grow your channel and things like that, like... What a great way to, like, talk about saving up for that. Like, maybe maybe dedicate some time to talking about how you're saving. I mean, you got that whole budget planner little binder thing, you know? So, like, talk about how you're planning for the future. How are you planning to save up for weight loss surgery? Because it's also possible you switch health insurances and you're still going to have to cover some portion of the cost, you know? They don't have insurance that approves weight loss surgery and that could help me pay for it. Um, I have had people be like, well, why don't you make a GoFundMe? Well, no, 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 that. don't do that. I don't know who suggested that to her, but that, that will for sure end in a fucking dumpster fire for her. I'm glad she has the self-awareness not to do that. I know people will report it for it being a scam, plus I don't want other people to pay for my surgery. Um, not you guys, not at all. I just had to answer that question. It's not that I don't want weight loss surgery or that it's off the table. It's just currently I don't have the money for it. So I am trying to figure that out. So well, let's. That could be a future era on my channel. Yeah, br bring us on the journey, girl. Bring us on the journey. Show us you saving money, things you're doing to prepare for it. Bring us, bring us along. I'd like to see that journey. So another thing I want to talk about is people are. Um, I have seen a large group of people uh, assume that you know since I've been like bedridden. 
um, due to an injury that I will not speak about. But <laughs> I'm so sick of her. I, due to due to an injury that I won't speak about, but I brought up in every single video since I said I was no longer going to speak about it. We're two for two. We're two for two, bestie. People have assumed, you know, I'm just going to be binging. I'm going to gain all my weight back. And I have a large that. portion of people who are like, well, now we're going to see is wifey an enabler or you know things like that well so i'm here to i think to some extent we already have but that's neither here nor there and also i do want an answer about why we're suddenly allowed to call her wifey again you want to dm me the answer to that question amberlynn let everyone know that i choose what goes in my mouth Ooh. whether it's healthy mm, with me <laughs> me me back in the day when i was on when i was on the gay apps i choose what goes in my mouth sir <laughs> I ultimately make that final decision, of course. Um, she's around me and she's there to try to persuade me into a better choice or, you know, make a better decision. And See, this is, this is all, ooh, 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 This is tasty, because this is all sounded a lot like how she used to defend Becky. She used to always say, it's not Becky's fault. Becky's not an enabler. Like, I ultimately choose. This is a... This is a change in the story from when she first started dating Wifey and was like, Wifey supports me like nobody else ever has. That's a very different, very different change in the narrative. This time of my life where I am healing from an injury, I have binged. Not a lot, but I have also over eight. Um, in the very beginning, it's like, I turned to food a lot. Okay. Because I just, I felt helpless in, the state of mind that I was in, I felt helpless physically and mentally, emotionally. Sure, um, sure, 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 sure. So turning to food was rather easy for me. Ultimately, my decision, what goes in my mouth, goes in my mouth mm -hmm. because of me and nobody else. I do, I do wonder, again, like, may, and maybe you'll talk about this in a bit, or maybe you won't at all, who knows. <laughs> I've obviously not watched the video. These, again, are things that, like, I would bring up with my therapist of, like, hey, can we work on some strategies for if I'm feeling hopeless, like mentally, physically, et cetera, what are some things I can do to cope with that, to process that, to work on that, that don't involve me binging or eating in general? Are there ways that we can turn to our journaling? Can we do some scratch art? Can we, I, you know, I don't know what the solution to that is, but like, it seems like maybe a therapist could assist with that. But I also said no to a lot of binges because of me. Well, good. And Way to go. Because I know that that's not putting me anywhere near where I want to be in my life. So it's just my overall food intake has drastically changed um, subconsciously and consciously. Okay, So another work. thing people are asking is, am I still on Ozempic? I would so as you guys know. I would like to know this. Oh my god, Ju Ju <laughs> Judy's had enough. Let me go let her out. On July 11th, I started taking Ozempic. Ozempic uh -huh. is... If she... Recently had... I hope she's still taking it. I really do. Before she says anything, let's just... I know this is already filmed, already posted, whatever she's about to say already happened. But I would just like, for her sake, to manifest that Ozempic is still happening. I don't know what this motion I'm doing with my hand is right now. <laughs> But I would just like to hope that it's still happening because I feel like it really has helped her. I feel like it's been a helpful tool for her to lose weight, accomplish her goals, etc. Has been approved in the United States for a weight loss tool. Um, it's an injection. Um, it was originally made for diabetics. See, what's amazing about medicine is that you know, it could be made for one thing, and then you, you know, the more people use it, and the more doctors, scientists, people, I know there's a word for it, but I, I don't know what it is, and that's why I said doctor, uh. scientist, because I don't, the more that um, they learn more information, uh. about medicine, and whatever, then sometimes it's like, oh, wow, we can use this as other things. Dr. Lynn Medicine Woman explaining <laughs> how... <laughs> fucking medicine and science works. <sighs> Who knew? Who knew? 
I will say a, a lot of people have asked me like, you know, should I go on Ozempic, et cetera, et cetera. I definitely think that you need to ask your doctor and talk to your doctor Okay, about work. That. Yes. Because even though we affectionately call her Dr. Lynn Medicine Woman, she's not an expert. You should not be taking medical advice from, from Amber Lynn Reed. Work for everyone. It doesn't work every single week. So my update is yes, I am still on Ozempic. You start off, you know, it, it's different for everyone. But nine times out of ten, you start off at 0.25 for uh -huh. four or five weeks. Listen, I don't need you to explain how it works all over again. I've watched every single one of the videos. I'm just happy to hear you're still on the Ozempic. Which I did that, and then you do 0 0.50 for four to five weeks, and I am still on 0.5. I have done 0 0.50 for... I think five Ugh, weeks. just from a math perspective, can we just note that 0.5 and 0 0.50 are the same number? Can we can we just do like the the math person inside of me is like, why do you keep saying 0 0.50? Why do why do you keep saying why do you keep saying that? You could also just say half a milligram. That would be an appropriate like w different way to say it. But 0.5 and 0 0.50. Bestie, respectfully, those are the same thing. I had the option this last Monday to take the one. Uh huh. I wasn't ready because that's what? the next stage is taking one. Why are you not ready? So this next coming Monday, I also have the option of what's upping it to one. But if I am not ready, I don't have to. I can continue saying. Wait, but what's to get ready? Wait, what, what, I, like, maybe I just tr truly don't understand how it works, but, like, is, do you have to prep yourself? Not, like, prep for the gays, but, like, do, do you have to prepare in some kind of way? Do you have to, is there something you gotta do to your body? I mean, maybe it is kind of, like, prep for the gays, you know? I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm curious. What, like, what do you mean you're not ready? Isn't it just taking a different dose? at 0 0.50. I, I just, for some reason, I'm scared. <laughs> Why? I'm scared to up my dose, increase Why? my dose. Um, but when it does happen, I'll definitely let you guys know. My um, So my answer is yes, I'm still on Ozempic. Work. Um, that's what, that's what I love to hear. Injection. And sometimes it doesn't work. I'm going to be honest. It's not this magic injection. It's not. Um, for some people, it works well, really, really well, and for others, it doesn't well, work at all. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what we've been saying. I mean, you even said it yourself in this video. It's a tool to help with weight loss. It's not It's not a magic pill. I don't know that anybody thought it was, you were going to take it and just all of a sudden shed weight. At all. Like, not even the tiniest bit. Um, and I'm currently sitting at the stage where it works, but it doesn't work as much as I thought it was going to work for well, me. Well, maybe maybe it's maybe that's why you work up to a higher dosage, right? Like, again, just because, you know, in the past, Amber Lynn has got mad at me for giving out misinformation about medicine. She's not a medical expert. I'm not a medical expert. But, like, I think it would be reasonable to be, like, maybe, maybe like, the reason that it gradually increases is because one, your body can handle more of it at a time, and two, like a higher dosage is going to continue its effectiveness. I, I would just guess. That would be like me using my like basic, basic understanding of how medicine works to make a conjecture here, a, a hypothesize. I'm a hypothesize, a hypothesis. I'm hypothesizing. So once I go up to one milligram, I think it's going to be really interesting to see, is it going to work better? Pr probably. Me, overall, as a census. Um, as a census? I, as a census? <laughs> like the, the 2020 census, like where they go around and count people? <laughs> what do you mean as a census? What? <laughs> We'll say that. And, you know, some weeks are better than others. It just, it all depends. Um, sure. Young, dumb honey bun. Hello, honey. Oh. I'm calling you out. She, she, <laughs> she really is thirsty to start these fights with us. She's thirsty to start the fights with these reaction channels. <laughs> why, why, why are you trying to fight with us? I, I just want to watch your content, bestie. I just want to be a, another viewer who happens to post my thoughts about what I'm viewing on the internet. 
in a video that she made of me, uh-huh. which someone actually sent this to me on Instagram. See, she also, Amber Lynn, if I could give you advice, just stop watching these videos. I, as much as I love your engagement with my channel and uh, your view it counts just as much as anybody else's view, like, I, it seems like this is not good for you and your and your mentals, <laughs> you know? Like, I just, I just don't know that this is the move. I also, just as a preface, don't watch Young Dumb Honey, but I don't know if I've ever watched a single one of her videos. They said that she said this, and I said, let me see. So they sent me timestamps and everything, and I did go back and I watched it. Young Dumb Honey Bun, you said that, um... Actually, you know what? Let me play that clip right here. Oh, I have seen oh, what she said. She's playing the clip. She said, Editing Lynn said, I'll include it for y'all. Y'all want to react to me and include my clips? I'm bringing the receipts. Okay. All right. Let me get some popcorn. I just sent to try and cheat her way out of weight loss to try oh. and you know, just take it instead of actually doing anything. So I have a few things to say about that. And well, I think that's really rude because there is a lot of people, mm. morbidly obese people, diabetics mm. or not who take ozempic and it's not a way of cheating how could you say that <laughs> i yeah i think that that I, I mean i don't have the context for anything else I, i'm not sure if context would help that clip or not <laughs> to be honest uh but i have said ever since Averlyn started this that i really look at ozempic as a tool and i'm glad it's something she's using now i think she like needs to commit to to using it as a tool and thus make other life changes as well, like if she wants it to work. Uh, but that's exactly why she's not cheating by using Ozempic, you know? Which, like, how do you cheat weight loss? Like, I don't even know what that means. It's not a game. It's like your fucking life, you know? Like, it, I don't know what kind of content uh, Young Dumb Honey Bun makes, but, like, so many people, like, make content saying that they're, like, concerned about Amber Lynn's health and they're concerned about what she's doing. Like, if you're specifically concerned about her bettering her life and like taking care of herself then like you should probably support her using whatever tools she can you know i i that doesn't sit right with me <laughs> like it just feels a little off to be like saying she's che like cheating it's not like fucking monopoly we're not playing Fortnite here. This this is like Amberlynn's actual life. If there's a tool out there that can help her lose weight, then let her do it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe that I'm out of pocket for even talking about it since I haven't watched the full clip. But just based on what which like also let's be fair. Let's be fair because Amberlynn has edited my my clips and like construed them in a way that wasn't how I meant it. And I think y'all have seen that, or a lot of you have seen that. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel where I reacted to her reacting to me reacting to her. So I, I mean, I'll give, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt that like maybe this is like way out of context, but even just like listening to those specific words and like hearing her say that Amber Lynn is trying to cheat her way out of weight loss, like if people are saying that, I think that that's like not the tea. <laughs> You're a funny bitch. But it just, it depends on the week, it depends on the day, it doesn't always work, you know. But yes, I'm still taking it. So I want to share with you guys, it's gonna be a lot of numbers, but I'm gonna try numbers. my hardest to not compete. Numbers? Anybody. Like 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.50? Or are we talking about other numbers now? Because. I don't want anyone to be confused because I'm very, very proud of what sure. I'm about to share with you guys. Okay. Very proud. Okay. So I'm going to talk slowly. <laughs> Not saying that you guys are dumb. I just want you guys to really hear this because I... I'm dumb, baby. I'm gay and stupid today. I'm gay and stupid. Say it slowly so I understand. I'm very proud. I have it all written down. Okay, um, planner. Book, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. So... Are you guys ready for this? I will be today at 466.0. So not only is this the lowest I have weighed in Kentucky. Yes, let's say that again. Uh-huh. I have not weighed. 
Wait. This little? Wait. Still a lot, but. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just happened to like, you can't see this on your, like, on your part of the screen recording that you're seeing, but I just, maybe I can scroll. Oh, I can. Okay, I'm scrolling up, although I might have to just go take a screenshot to include bigger for you all. But it says <laughs> in the description, I was so excited to share my weight that I fumbled and said the wrong number. I meant 569.8, but if you'd been, if you have been watching me, you'd know that 569.8 on July 1st, well, now I can't, you'd know that 569.8 on July 1st, 2021. Oh, is that when she started? It, so wait, so this number she just said was right. Now I am confused, Amberlynn. Wait, so the number she just said was right. So she's gonna say another number, maybe her starting weight number. I don't know. And after all of that, and she's like, I'm going to speak so slowly for you so there's no confusion. And now I'm confused because I, I maybe I should have waited. I just happened to look down and see that on the in her description box while she was saying that. Like, <laughs> I don't now I'm good. Listen, let's, let's just listen to the rest of it. So she's 400 and something now. I weighed this little since being in Kentucky. And I've been in Kentucky now for... A long time. Seven years? Six years? Has it been that long? It's been longer than six. You were living in Kentucky before I started living in Chicago, I think. Or maybe we I moved to Chicago around the time you moved to Kentucky. Either way, it sounds about right. Sounds about right. This is the lowest I've been. So work, diva. Work. Yay, yay. We're doing the damn thing. So I want to say before I say my overall weight loss, which is a pretty freaking great number, I will say. I want to say how much I've lost on Ozempic. Okay. So July eleventh was my first day on Ozempic. I was forty one point four. So today is September eighth which is almost two months of being on Ozempic, 466.0. So that means on Ozempic, I've lost 25.4 okay. pounds Work in diva. two months. So that's pretty freaking great, got to admit. But as Keep a whole, it going. since Keep my highest weight is 572.4, uh, I'm down 106.4 pounds. Wait. 106.4. In total, I am down 106.4 pounds. Well, that's great. It's beautiful. But wait, 572.4. But she's saying that she meant... So her description box is saying, I meant 569.8. Girl, what is the truth? I Listen, I do love a number. Again, if you don't know much about me, my uh, minor in undergrad was mathematical studies. So I do enjoy a number. But when she's just rattling off a whole bunch of numbers, I can't remember all of these. That's not how my brain works. Cool. But I want to make things a little bit more clear for people who just want me to talk about the last year. Because it wasn't until last year, July 1st, uh, this, 2020. This is what she's talking about. Year, this July this is what the see I should have just never read that description box I couldn't help it though I happened to look down and see a number while she was talking about other numbers and it got me messed up but maybe this is what the description box is about now I'm so sorry y'all are gonna be so mad at me about this in the, in the comments I can already see it you're gonna be like Zach you're doing too much you shouldn't have read that you should have just reacted I know I know I first 2021 it was after I got my heart broken. I was ready to be your like heart was new, broken. B I T C H. I wanted to just be better, do better. You know the glow up, right? Sure. I waited at four. I don't know. I don't know that a glow up ever happened, but I could see that that was maybe something you wanted at the time for sure. Sixty nine point eight. Oh, was about two pounds. Oh, no, this is, this is, this is, I could understand how she might have accidentally said four instead of 569.8. I, I could see that. But I, I could also see why people would criticize her after she was like, I'm gonna say this very slowly for you dumb people in the audience. Away from my heaviest weight ever recorded. Only two pounds away from my heaviest weight ever recorded. So... 
last year, July 1st, 2021, at 469.8, uh-huh. all the way to today at 466.0. That means since last year, just in this last year, I've lost 103.8 pounds. Okay. I've lost 103.8 pounds. Oh. Work, Diva. So... <laughs> I want to do, like, how much did I lose in this last year? It's been, like, 13, 14 months. But how much have I lost in that time with Ozempic and without Ozempic? So. What what do all, why why do all of these numbers matter at this point? What, like, <laughs> like, what does it matter? Well, I, I don't understand. I, I'm happy Ozempic has helped you. I'm happy that you also lost weight without Ozempic. Like, <laughs> All of these numbers are just confusing me at this point. You managed to take something that shouldn't be that confusing, that should be pretty straightforward, cut and dry. You could have put some, like, visuals up or something, and you've managed to make all of this just, like, so confusing. Maybe I am dumb. Maybe I'm the dumb person she's she's slowing it down for. The 103.8, or since my highest... The hundred and six point oh my god, so many numbers. Hundred and six point four. So, so many numbers. Without Ozempic, I was able to lose eighty one pounds. That she started Ozempic to try and cheat her way out of weight loss. Oh, she started Ozempic to try and cheat not, her way out of weight loss. <laughs> and <I> not, <laughs> not this, Amberlynn. I mean, kudos to you. You're you're cutting deep. You're cutting deep because you know she's gonna react to this video and have to say something back about it. You know she is. Oh my god. I'm still losing. My doctor put me on Ozempic. Thank you. So Thank without you. it, I lost 81 pounds. And with it, I've lost the 25.4 pounds. So whether I'm on Ozempic or I'm not on Ozempic, I am losing she, weight. You know what? The whole... Uh, there, there she is again. The whole point of this video is just her wanting to be able to take a shit on Young Dumb Honey Bun. She, she's into scat play and she wants to take a big old shit on Young Dumb Honey Bun. <laughs> Is that, is that too far? That's what it feels like. It feels like she just wants to put Young Dumb Honey Bun in her place. It feels like this isn't even about showing all her haters that she lost weight. It's specifically to let Young Dumb Honey Bun know she doesn't know what's up, you know? And you know what? If if that's the motivation you need to keep losing weight, then I say go for it, bestie. I say get after it. I have seen that she started Ozempic to try and cheat her way out of weight loss, to try and, you know, just take it instead of actually doing anything. So whether I'm on Ozempic or I'm not on Ozempic, I am losing weight. <laughs> this last year has been very up and down, especially like in my personal it sh- it life. sure has. And with my weight and my mental health and things like that. And I think it very much shows on the scale. But if I was to weigh myself last year in July, and then I didn't touch a scale, not at all, until today, it would show that I am down over a hundred pounds. What, what is, what is it, what is it, wait, but what is it, <laughs> what was that point you're trying to make? I don't understand, but you did weigh yourself over the past year. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't know that I understand. Is, is she trying to say that, like, it doesn't matter if she had weighed herself or not during that time, she still would have lost the weight? I, can somebody help me? I really I really am going to have to change my slogan from I'm gay, not stupid, to I'm gay and stupid, because that's how she's got me feeling today. That's victorious. That's amazing. The, the Nickelodeon and I told show? my girlfriend my way in today. I was like, that, oh. that's victorious. The the Nickelodeon show. What do you what? Who says that? That's victorious. Like Ariana Grande. She was on that show, right? Four sixty six point zero. Like I was so happy. I was like, this is the lowest I've been in Kentucky. She was like, you're sixteen pounds away from four fifty. Wow. That's amazing. I, I love that she could have literally put any other visuals, but what she had to put in was a text from Wifey saying, like, wow, you did it. It's so supportive. She has to let us know, Wifey, supportive. And that is my next goal, 450. Let's do it. I can see myself Let's go. in about two months reaching that. Would I want to reach that in a month? Hell to the yeah. Hell to the yeah. try a little harder. Right now, I am not trying to aim for perfection. I'm not trying to, you know, count my Weight Watcher points to the last point. Are you? Count my calories to the last Are point. you on Weight Watchers? Why would you bring that up right now? 
calorie or like weigh every single ounce of food. I go through phases where I do do that. But my current phase is not that. That's not my current phase. (laughs) It's not. My current phase is Uh. focusing on the foods I enjoy and being able to eat those without binging and allowing myself to be mindful of what I'm eating while also not getting mad at myself if I overeat, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I just don't want to binge. Like, at all? Work, work. yes, absolutely. I'm, again, curious, like, are you talking to your therapist about these things? Like, I I felt like they could probably provide you some insight. It it doesn't feel great to me that you're you're calling this, like, these phases. Because to me, that, that kind of, like makes me think of like cyclical dieting, you know, which is, which is not, I don't know, I don't think personally very helpful. I, it seems like it might be more helpful to just like talk through a plan. I don't know. Again, not, not a medical professional. It's just like mm, saying that you're going through phases feels a little weird. It's, it's not like we're like a toddler who's going through phases of what they do and do not like to eat. But um, yeah, that's, that's my way in. I don't really know like how frequently I'm going to do like weight loss videos or whatever but <laughs> if you guys are interested in well, I don't know them, definitely let me know I, I love how she's talking about this like it's already like we're in a new era and and she doesn't know what she wants her content to be I try not to be so like in your guys's face with my weight loss because that's how I used to be like back in the day I was super what do like, you mean over sherry like every single day there was like a weigh in um, I was actually just going back today and watching old videos of all of the eras that I've been through. And my channel used to be heavily, heavily focused on just weight loss. And it's not um, now? I don't know. And it's not now? With the exception of Ankle Gate, the past like two, three months have all been series focused on what you eat, calling yourself a 500 pound girl. Things like what do you, <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you trying to act like your content now is something different? Just because you took a break to do three Q and A's in a row doesn't mean that we still don't get a lot of weight loss content on your channel. I want my channel to be more than that. Like I started the so raw, love doing it. It, so it was fun. so oh dumb. I've only done one segment, one episode, one video, whatever you want to call it. But I I, I love it because it, I'm able to talk about other things besides the most obvious, which is my weight. I love it because I get to drag Becky through the mud and still not tell you anything about my current girlfriend whatsoever. You guys, I'm down 106.4 pounds. Wow, kudos. Your is down 106.4 pounds. Oh my god, I, I just realized I said kudos to her and I didn't I didn't follow it up with any more positive encouragement So that's not gonna count as a nice thing to say about her, but I really don't have anything else to say like good for you Proud of you. That's a hundred and six. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like a whole person. Oh my god Almost like a whole person. Oh my god. I love that for me. <laughs> If I could do it, you could do it. Uh, Anyways, true. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Swell. <laughs> that was that, huh? That was certainly that. That was something. That was that. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I, you know what? I think when I film later in the day, because I had to film later today because the air conditioning people were fixing the air conditioner, And I think, like, I just have a different energy that I bring to that. And sometimes I'm like, is this when y'all think I'm sassier? Because sometimes when I film in the morning, I'm still waking up. I'm not a morning person. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, So maybe, maybe I just... (laughs) Maybe I need to replan things, but I like to have my evenings to spend with like Noel, the dogs, our friends, whoever, whatever. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. Anyways, I had so much fun today. If you did too and it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on all my social media, follow me on Twitch, follow my gaming channel. I'm getting ready to play the new little Disney simulation game on my channel, so go check that out once I post it sometime eventually. And above all else, have a lovely day. Bye!